This is Andy Nathan with AndyNathan.net. Today is actually Monday, and I'm playing around with a new theme from PageLines. It's called PageLines DMS. This thing is a game changer, and I want to just spend a minute or two just talking to you about how this works and why it's such a cool theme. And I, you know, I've already been setting some stuff up, so I thought I would just show you wh where I'm at. Let me go to the other site now, just so you know. This theme edits only in Chrome, so if you have Explorer or Firefox, you cannot do it there. So if you notice, this is actually in Chrome, which I don't use as much as I do Firefox, but that's okay. What this is, is it's a front-facing uh, theme for the most part. Now, most of the editing parts of it are in the front. Edit it while you're working on it. This is my homepage, StartupGap.com. And then I also have what should we discuss next where I ask people questions and I, I can install different parts of this. Notice all the, the blue areas here. Those are different parts of my theme. And what you do is you get to determine different options here. So if I want to add another section down below the, the blog posts, what I do is I go add section. And then if I want to add a column, I could add a column. Let's say we want to add a two column thing. So we want to add two columns in here. And what we're going to do is then we can then start filling in elements for those two columns. And you can start filling it in. Everything works in blocks and everything's movable here. This is what's so amazing about this theme. Here we go. See, notice how we have two columns here. And what we can do is if we then want to put something in those columns, what we do is we go add section and we go your sections here and you have all these different things that you could add I only have the free version this is all this is all free unless it says pro in there by the way and there's a lot of free stuff in here it's really amazing what you could add if I want to go in here and let's say I want to do some type of post author in here what I do is I click it and I then scroll back down and then I add like different authors in the page we just have to drag it to the right section. There we go. So you drag it in. Oh, I think I wanted that to go inside there. And we could actually have it inside there, and we could actually edit the author, and notice how you have another section available. So you could start making changes to this as you go, and I, I haven't played around with the author section, so I don't know everything about the post author and how to set it up. But I'm just giving you an idea here, so I don't want to like blindly lead you and tell you how to do this because I don't fully know myself yet. But then if you want to go in here to the column, the other column, and let's say you want to add something else, you can go in, you could add a widgetizer, which is, you could add different widgets, and you could add, so you could have an entire page based on widget bars. You could add a share bar if you want, if you want some more social media shares. You could also go back here and you could see the different types of things like if you want to add a slider, you could add a slider. If you want something miscellaneous, you could do a 404 pager, which I don't think it would really work. If I want to put a gallery, that's actually a pro version. But then looking for a non-pro and I can go to different components here as well and I could see you could sort of get an idea of what you could add. So if I want to add a media box, because that might fit in next to it really nicely, I could add a media box right next to that author in the other column. And it's all drag and drop. And boom, we now have a media box. So we have to add the media, obviously, to it. But this is a good way to start adding things. And you see, you could even see here, with the media box, you could start doing, you could add upload images, you could start doing animation if you want it, so it can fade from one image to the next, and you can really start seeing how this becomes a very useful feature for your, for your site. And then once you're done, all you do is you click publish. Now, I don't want these, these images in here, I don't want the post author, so I'm going to delete that. I click OK, then I'm going to delete this column as well, because I don't need that. I click OK, and then when I want everything done, I refresh just to make sure everything looks right before I publish it, and it refreshes the screen to make sure everything looks good, and I can get a feel for how everything looks, and then when I'm ready, 
all I do is I click over here in the bottom left and or the bottom right and I know this is cut off a little bit you click publish and then you're done other than that though you're all finished it's really nice really simple to use and definitely something I encourage you to check out and then you could even see here with the green green means it's published it's live good to go this is really a cool plugin a really cool theme it's something that can be very useful I haven't fully played around with it yet so if you notice them sort of fumbling a bit that's okay I think you'll learn you'll like it a lot this is Andy Nathan talking about PageLines DMS.